Welcome to Pax Arupiana, the podcast about peace and prosperity here from Budapest in the sunset. It's an amazing city. This is the castle of Budapest over there. This is this really at the river city because different than Vienna, it's directly divided by the Danube. And of course, it's a fantastic uh, place. This is the most famous building of Central Europe, I think. The, Parliament Square of Hungary, it's uh, one of the most impressive uh, buildings. It was built in the same time when uh, Vienna uh, Central was built and it's very beautiful obviously and I really like it. Just this is a castle of uh, this beautiful city and you see this uh, beautiful river connecting Austria and Hungary and of course also Serbia and Romania and Bulgaria this beautiful European stream and along this stream there were so many populists in power Sebastian Kurz uh, copying Trump and Babis of course that's not at the Danube directly but uh, there was also then uh, Fitzko in Slovakia that beautiful country over there and he is gone. He has a big fight now again um, to, against this American Defense Treaty of Slovakia, but he lost that one as well. So there is only, I think, uh, two of them left. Uh, this is uh, Viktor Orban here in Hungary and the people are very saddened by him probably winning again. It's not impossible, but of course it is, should be a loss. But of course this manipulation and control of the society, of the media, of the industry, of the finance is almost complete and it's no longer a full democracy and it's one of the saddest cases in European politics in the last 10 years. And the second one, of course, is Vucic in Serbia. And these are the big problems we have in Europe and we have to find a way to make sure that at least all the voters in Serbia and in Hungary know that we are all very much against it. No matter which political party or which economic philosophy or which uh, line we follow in other uh, political fields. I'm on the center right. Yeah? I'm an economic liberal, a conservative. Yeah? But you know, these are people who work against NATO, against their own defense alliance. These are people who are working against Europe. Yeah? These are the enemies of Ukraine and Kosovo. These are the enemies of freedom, the enemies of America. And then they go to America and tell they are great friends. No, no, they are enemies of everything we ever fought for. No matter what ideology, they are traitors. And this must be very, very clear. And it must be abundantly clear, made to all the voters, that this is what we believe in, top down from the European and from the uh, NATO countries. It must be very clear where we stand. All European leaders must go. And what I have said very clearly also in Serbia, to suspend the EU candidate status for being enemy of peace, being an aggressive bully. And also then here in Hungary to make a clear campaign against Viktor Orban, who is blocking everything Ukraine needs in this hour of need, and who is uh, rejecting our European currency, making fun of it, manipulating the democracy, and buying voters with 4 billion euros. And we make campaigns in Serbia and Kosovo and in Bosnia not to make voter buying. And he's flagrantly, ridiculously uh, persiflaging democracy in his country. I mean, he is the shame in European history with his treasonable deals with this patch, uh, Pax or whatever. It's this uh, nuclear power for 10 billion and his gas deals and the attached to corruption. Because I've uh, said many times in my podcast already, these gas deals are always highly corrupt. They buy the silence and the complicity of the prime ministers involved in these gas deals. They buy it with direct payments via Switzerland in Zug. And that's of course a fact, a tragic fact. Yeah? And now he closed even this uh, 56 museum for the Budapest revolution against the communists. Yeah? And in all these um, uh, heroes, yeah? from Rakosi to Kosut, uh, to Istvan, uh, to the Hungarians in 56 against the communists, uh, to also Androsi. Uh, Viktor Orban could, with some claim to fame, put his monument here as well, until of 2000, because he really did a lot in bringing down the communism and so on, and the first prime minister so long, and he really could, and I was optimistic he would. But he has chosen the dark side. He went dark. He went to Putin. 
and that's obviously inexcusable. And I certainly will never fool. <laughs> Man, you can buy some Hungarian voters and you can maybe get eh, back again, but I will never forgive it, that's for sure. Now I will upload all this and come back later. More to come and let's fight for democracy and for our values. No? Even when we're just individuals, we can and we have to do that. So far from here, more to come. Bye.